and then I say, yo, what up? How's it going, buddy? Oh, it's going well. How about you? I'm also quite well. I'm also quite well. Thank you for the support over on Patreon in order to uh, to get this Deck Doctor done. We are uh, doing Snipe. We're doing Snipe. Um, Favorite pro hero? Or just like how he works? He's McCree. He has a gun. I'm with it. <laughs> he's McCree. He's got a gun. I'm with it. Hey, what a what a perfect answer. What a perfect perfect answer. Okay. <laughs> For everybody out there who's not done a uh, a Patreon, uh, uh, who's not done a deck doc or not seen one of these, basically what's gonna happen is uh, Joe's gonna take me through his really awesome snipe deck. He's gonna be, give me the elevator pitch, and I'm gonna see work with him what we can uh, what we can change and move around and see uh, if we can come to a consensus on how to make this deck a little bit a little bit cleaner. So. Um, uh, hit me with the elevator pitch of what do you, what do you got going on with this rad air snipe deck? Uh, so TLDR, just get them dead. Uh, really like, um, <laughs> just a good amount of like range move. Yeah. Well, I, I've always just from my card game experience, just like, it's just the style I like, just right. attack with pressure on and, uh, snipes ability just kind of puts them in awkward spots. Like. They want to block, they take a life. He's one of the rare characters that doesn't say they don't die from his ability. Right. Or they do so die. Like, they do die. They would die, yeah. Yes. But sometimes, like, some of the cards, like, limit that. Right. So, like, I... Plus, like, I felt Jiro cards be able to manipulate top of the deck to be able to be able to get two damage that they can't negate because they're just losing the two health. Right. So, that's kind of, like, why there's, like, the specialized sound waves and... Meteor Shower, just a way to, like, loop moves. Uh, Chrome and Fog Takedown, because it's just gas. Always. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I... That's... And Ready, Set, Go, because I want to do it faster. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, that, that makes, uh... That makes total sense to me. I'm doing... I'm doing some... I'm doing some looking. Um, so, foundation-wise, you're, you're really valuing the, um... Forcing my opponents, uh, forcing my opponent to to make weird choices with the top card of their deck is what we're looking at. So uh, the foundation is like kind of like why I put this on the deck doctor because like I know I wanted to do full plugin because plugin lets me to put an attack on top and let me burn them for two. Uh, Correct. And then outside of that, it was just like trying to find the right number and stuff, just like be able to like give my move some like added damage and speed or. Just kind of like help. I tried to stay away away from the defensive cards, but like I wanted a little bit just to right. like protect myself because I only have twenty health. But, Makes sense yeah. to me. Makes sense to me. I'm doing just a little looking, so bear with me. Take your time. That's um, kind of like what I did when I built the deck. I just had to keep going back and forth. Yeah. 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 Um. As we're zooming, as we're zooming. Um, okay, okay, I'm into it, I'm into it, I'm into it. And then this is our last one. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, all right, so I've got a, I got a big, big old sideboard list that we get to, we get to look at. All right, so uh, attack wise, attack wise, I love everything in the list except this guy. Um, this guy's fine. He's fine. He's fine, right? Um, it's it's a, it's a fine move, right? Seems right swing. It's okay, but it's it's not it's not anything to write home about, you know? No, I agree. It was really there because like I was really like low on low blocks, and I wanted a way to like filter cards. I know it's not ranged. It's not ranged. <laughs> we gotta shoot. We gotta shoot him. <laughs> we gotta shoot him. I think the instant uh, instant change is just indiscriminate shock. Um, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah, this card, this card being a three of, like it just, it just murders them. That feels very good. It is ranged. Um, being able to go and stack it with specialized sound waves feels great. Um, it's just, it's just, it's just good all around. We're gonna put this in the sideboard so it stays on the table, but it, I don't think it should be anywhere near your deck unless you have a, a like a sideboard strategy to jump out of snipe and into something else, and that's where a signature right swing is is helpful. But we don't, we don't do sideboards on deck docks. Um, just like these main board concepts. Um, I love Lashing. I love Crow. Zero Gravity Lift is great because it doesn't have the range keyword, but it does help with the Meteor Shower Loops um, or snapping better momentum for Specialized or so on and so forth. So I, I, I think I think the other 22 attacks in your deck are wonderful. I think they're great. I think they're very good. Dope. 
Yeah. Um, ready to go the four of. Uh, this is a main boarded card, but it instantly gets sighted out whenever you go second. Or sorry, whenever you go first. Um, this is this is a I lose the die rolled kind of card. Uh, I had a question in chat of uh, CR3. So how does Ready Set Go even work? It's very simple, right? My opponent goes first. Right, this is Magical Christmas Land. My opponent goes first, and I have a Ready Set Go and two really good foundations in my hand. Uh, first impressions, Teaki Fanatic, um, plug in. We just we're gonna jam two plugs in, plugins. Right, they are playing their turn, their combat phase, and they build a foundation, build a foundation, build a foundation, build a foundation. As soon as they resolve successfully playing the fourth foundation, you look at them and say, "Stop what you're doing." I'm going to respond with Ready, Set, Go. And so out of your hand, on your opponent's turn, you're going to play Ready, Set, Go, and you're going to check your check your move. It will pass, because even if we check one of these threes, we get to commit our face. The only way it doesn't pass is if it's special out of wave, lol. Uh, it will pass. And then we just take two cards from our hand and then just put them into our stage face up. So we, we drop double plug in. We've now gotten three cards out of our hand, uh, uh, CR3 which means that then we get to draw back up to our printed hand size plus the bonus cards. We built two cards and then and then become an eight-hander. We have just taken the tempo of the game back. It's not possible to be turn two That's basically what this card says. Did you catch all that? <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, the other attack uh, options that we have that just like on the, uh, on the line um, is uh, Float Combo. Float Combo is guaranteed two damage. Right, because if it's completely blocked, and it's unbelievably fast, it's crazy, crazy fast. So it's more than likely going to be going to hit for that four. This is like this is like baby <laughs> babies for Shigaraki, right? You have death as well. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's very, very, very reminiscent to like a Shigaraki. Death was the other like symbol I thought about going with, but like I just really like the interaction with like plug in and Jiro's guards. So, I like, this I think seems better. I think it's the right move actually. Um, the next two are maneuvering lasers and exploding pride. Uh, these cards have if not blocked. Uh, punishments, right? Um, this one says if it's not blocked, they discard the whole momentum. This one says if it is blocked, they discard the whole momentum. And so, like, we, there's, there's, uh, I'm sure there's a list here where like these two cards get like played and like you punish your opponent for having momentum. Maybe like a two of maneuvering labor in the sideboard just to like be like, yo, you don't get the thing. And then also adding a bad card, adding a flipped card up to your stage to give it plus one speed, plus two damage feels really good, right? It's a four mid for six now with the X two. It's a one mid block. Like this card, this card feels great. And the nitro good. ignition is just like a like a crazy card. <laughs> like if you draw two nitro ignitions, like you you always feel good about just jamming both. Like get a free momentum, clear your card pool, yada yada yada. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had to read nitro for a minute. And I was like, wait, like does that work? And then realized like it removes itself, not the other cards. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. Um, so as we as we look, um, why first impressions? This is one of my least Tamron Cardwell's least favorite cards. Uh, so I, I mean, I, I read it. I thought it's like for the move to be bigger, just like a damage buff. And then like, if they decide to block, they take the damage if it's ranged. And then my next move is faster. Yeah. This so card be like, is like very a... good on zero gravity lift. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it. Um, everything else is just like, yo, you just, you blocked my move. It says flip one to guarantee burn for one. Sometimes you have to do that actually 20 times. I, do, I, I think that this card is exclusively going to be saved in your stage for zero gravity lift. And so I don't know if it deserves to be a three of. I think it probably could cut down to a two of. And we find like a better, more more reliable low block, right? Like specialist up to up to a three because like we only have 20 health, right? We got to make sure that stuff happens. Okay. Yeah. Um... Uh, ambush tactics is a uh, is very interesting. It says if my first attack this turn was blocked, this deck gets plus one damage. Um, the reason that I included this card into it is one of the big things that your opponent's not going to want to do is block. But when you do force them to block, like a first impressions on a zero gravity lift, it's saying that all your meter showers are going from five damage to six damage. Every single move except for specialized sound wave just gets a free uh bonus. And oh, where's it at? Uh, and you can take and reduce your speed to zero, which you don't necessarily care about because you get the burn off anyways. And then um, your next check automatically gets plus one to play. So you get to play these uh, crow and frogs uh, super late. You get to play indiscriminate shocks very late. Um, and this card just feels very good to do that. Giving your indiscriminate shock an extra two speed like feels really good. That sounds good. Yeah. 
Uh, I think Confuse is one of those cards that you're going to have to at least sideboard because it is uh, throw hate. Um, it is another version of wall cling, but it has a five check, not a four check. It's 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 you could say it's like a power creeped version of wall cling that um, does like a like like a, a a Venn diagrammed version of its job, right? This exclusively works on like blocking, and this just says I could just take the throw keyword away, and then I have to full block it in order to not take it. Right, right. Shock treatment is rad. Um, I think this card is going to be really important still. I think it should probably be a one of in your spot exclusively to um, play uh, in order to shut down things that like stop speed or stop damage or minus whatever to uh, to, to say that they are forced to keep blocking me. Um, things that uh, maneuver the top cards of their deck. Things like if they have their own destined for mainstream successes, being able to shut them down might be what's important. That makes sense. Uh, capabilities, if we do end up going with with a, a couple more uh, Furies, this card is going to guarantee get a block out of them, and they're not going to want to block in the first place because we're playing Snipe, right? And so, um, Or you get bonuses if they don't block, so we're going to be getting this momentum for free. So if this ends up turning into more like a ranged Fury package, this card like is a it turns any Fury into a kill condition, which, which feels really good, um, which we might need to do. But you've already got Lashing, and that kind of already does this card's job. Just in the future, if like a like a version three of this deck, um, I just wanted to put plant the seed of capabilities. It's probably going to be a kill card if we decide to go for this kind of a route. Right, right. Um, encouragement, encouragement. Uh, this card says that uh, your meteor showers, when they're not blocked, they go to the discard pile, which means if I've stockpiled uh, momentum, I get to then uh, keep looping my meteor showers. I think this is a really undervalued card inside of the air symbol currently. Um, because a lot of decks want to, uh, like the like the air meteor shower decks are currently wanting to play things like um, Jiro that want to have a big, heavy, thick card pool so that they their things get very big. But if we're not get bumping those those stats, we want to uh, clear these cards so that we can just keep slinging more cardboard. That's the uh, so like with encouragement, like it just oh, so I would cycle the one for okay, yeah, I see it just. Let's it cycle more. All right, right. That's fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you've got uh, like, like I'll, I'll give the example, right? I've got a meteor shower in my hand. I have no meteor showers in my disco pile. I have two face down momentum, right? I play the meteor shower. It doesn't get blocked. I flip the encouragement. I kick it. I play the second meteor shower out of my hand. Since the, that first meteor shower is now in my discard pile, I can discard the momentum and, and put it over there. Discard a card, pick it up. They don't block this one. I'll flip another encouragement. I'll discard it. I'll then play the, the last meteor shower. I'll swap them. I'll discard a card, pick it up. So the fact of like meteor shower, encouragement, and two blank momentum turned into four meteor showers. Guaranteed, right? I haven't really used anything out of my hand in order to in order to get there. Sounds sounds interesting yeah. sounds good i'm yeah, a fan it, i think i think it's okay um i think it is better than something on the lines of small and limber um because i don't know how we're destroying the cards under the good symbol or sorry under the under the air symbol i think that this is this card's worst symbol is air um because like the destroy options are what tiaki i guess short circuit that's it charged up if i hit card just seems very yeah i think everything else flips yeah love the flip which is great for frog lashing right um but like it's fine it's fine it's fine i think i think you'll just get more value out of the encouragement or or playing more like uh, uh so this is, a, this is a beautiful flow card but playing things like ambush tactics for a little more damage confused for a little more uh defense shock absorber for a little disruption i don't know how much flow that you need so like these are these are the choices that we have as opposed to just like Enhanced commit for plus one plus one four times a, a turn. You know, it might be a little easier with the flow because it's a seven hander. So right, but I'm willing to test it out if that's any consolation. Love it, earphone jack. Uh, this card is going to be really important with your plugged in because if you see that they don't have a uh, a foundation, then you uh, can just like, or if you see that they have the foundation, you just you know kick the card off the top of their deck and then you get to call it with <laughs> with snipe later, right? Um, and so I think, I think this card might be good enough to, to run. Um, I think it might be a card that like goes in, comes out, goes in, comes out. Also accidentally giving all these moves plus one speed just like feels good. Just feels good. A little more mill from them. A little less uh, options that they get to play with cards. I, th I think this card's very good. 
Also, we're fine on high blocks. Okay. It's also that one high block can save you so, so, so much. Truly. Not sure how your phone jack blocks high, but it certainly does. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because it goes in her shoe anyway. Right. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, the Aspirations is insane with a Meteor Shower. I actually like it better than Charged Up. Um, exclusively because it's a flip cost, not a remove cost. And uh, this card says that our momentum counts as two as opposed to picking a specific one. We already have a card in our deck that picks a specific thing. Um, and so this is just like gives us better options to, to do so, right? I uh, I play zero gravity lift, it goes to my momentum, and then I snap a bonus one. That's three meteor showers. Um, just because I get to, because of how wealthy works. So this card essentially is a bonus extra five damage. The other half of the ability of, of uh, uh, removing and then flipping one of my momentum face up doesn't matter because these ones just go in face up if they're in a public zone anyways. And we don't care about these ones being face up. This one, the top ability, the enhance, is essentially just like it's another copy of Jolt. <laughs> but we're not playing Jolt because we don't care about that card. Because that card sucks. It doesn't have the range keyword. <laughs> so we just ignore anything that doesn't say range. Don't yeah, we? I think that's the. I think that's where we should start with this deck, and then figure it out from there. The only reason we get to play the zero gravity lift is because it's a throw. It's literally the only reason, and it, and it combos well. Excuse me, it's a good tactic with uh with first impression. Uh, first day of class says that um we're allowed to check poorly on our second move, and we have a bit of a uh, bit of insurance. I don't think this card stays in the deck, but it's fine. Yeah. If I were you, I would be looking at these three cards to be uh, some replacements for your smaller numbers, um, and then everything else we get to we get to mess around with some numbers. All right, yeah, yeah. I like I, the, I like the encouragement. I definitely like the wealthy aspirations if we're swapping out the charged up because it essentially does the same yeah. game plan. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's just uh, let's toss it and we'll toss this in at a, at a two of it. I think you're gonna you're, you're gonna. When you find Wealthy Aspiration, uh, Meteor Shower Zero Gravity Lift, it's going to feel very, very good. It's going to feel very good. Um, uh, small number, I think we're just going to cut as well. Do, do you agree with my my uh, opinion of, of this card's not very good in this deck? Yeah, I, yeah, I understand where you're coming from. Like, it doesn't do enough with what this deck's trying to accomplish. Because right. I have no way of making things leave my stage. Yeah. What character well, are we? Really Fidu, we're playing as Snipe. Um, so, honestly, this is not a bad spot to be in foundation-wise. I think we actually don't necessarily need to toss anything else into the deck. But we, we certainly have the option to. Um, like, I know that I don't personally like Short Circuit, but if that's a card you really enjoy, I think aiming for number one could easily be in the sideboard. Um, I don't like First Impressions, but it's really good with, with like, Zero Gravity Lift and forcing the block for, for Snipe to happen so that something gets really fast later. Um, so, like, at, at this point, it feels very, um, uh, what do you like, what do you not like, right? I think, I think with First Impressions, I think I'd rather have the Encouragement because, like, I can do more with Encouragement. Okay. And like for instance, it's good with zero gravity lift, but like encouragement, I could do more things to be able to like spread out more. That is true. The other thing we have to look at is this is a low block where the encouragement's a mid block. So as long as we keep these block zones fairly even, I don't think 16 lows is abysmal, but I don't think that we should go any any lower than that. So we can certainly kick this card and toss in the double encouragement and see where that gets us number wise still at 63 up to 19 28 16 i think these are fine numbers um if we wanted to increase low block numbers lows uh we could increase exclusively specialists up to the four of i think 16 honestly is fine i think i think it's a fine number um, the fact that we put in these indiscriminate shocks and we we've kept these in here is 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 good stuff yeah yeah i mean like depending on like testing and whatnot i can like bump up shock to four or specialist up to four yeah, yeah if yeah, like yeah. i really need low blocks because like i also have uh that what what is it called uh i thought i had it the i don't know i was on it going infinite 
which changes the yeah, thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, infinite yeah, potential. Yeah. Infinite potential. It makes things a high true. if I get stuck, and I have a pretty right. decent amount of high blocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I agree with that. That that's fine because I mean we're mainboarding for plugged in, right? Because that's like the that's the theme of the deck is I I want I want a little peak, uh, which I think is really cool. Right? I think this is this is super super cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's knowledge and burning. Right. Why not? <laughs> right, right, right. Little, little, little uh, uh, stun uh, deterrent. We love it. We love it. Um, if you feel like the deck is not quite getting there, I think this is the card to mess around with. I think this is where we get to mess around with our slot. Um, I think like confused or shock treatment gets to come in. I think of the three cards of, well, we'll go back to none, right? Ambush, confused, shock treatment. Um, I think these two cards are better value than the. Amp than the uh, than the ambushes, but we uh we're fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh Jose, you came in late. We are looking at plug in to look at my opponent's deck so that I know when to snipe. That is that's where we're at. Um as opposed to plug in looking at our own deck. Yeah. The, here is here is our tactic. Yeah. But you are right. Uh special sound is just plugged in whenever we check it. You are correct. All in all, man, I think you came to me with a with a pretty tight list. You came to me with a with a goal, and I think I think that you were like about ninety two percent there. Yeah, that's a good number. <laughs> yeah, it's a good it's a good number. Good year too. Um, anything uh anything that you vehemently disagree with with what's going on here? Uh I mean, like I think moving ready, get set go to the sideboard because obviously, like if I go first. It's just dead, essentially. Yeah, um, it can be. It just, it's it's not as potent as I would want it to be. Going Certainly, first. that is a, that is that is a very fair statement. So so I think like move like putting that maybe like just in, like so cyborg maybe like add like an earphone jack and maybe find some room for like maybe like an additional two like low blocks and something else. Right. Uh, might be the only thing that I would be looking to do. Well, the thing is, is if you do lose these four high blocks, right, this number goes down to 15 and we got to replace them, right? Oh, so that's maybe, fair. maybe it'd be like three high blocks and then one more low block or even just like put the put the four back in, right? Like 18, 17 might be, might be where it's at. Yeah, maybe. maybe that's where I'll we put in it. the confused, right? right and right, then right. the one first day of class. That might be might be where we're at. But I mean, four or yeah, right or like a, a double confused one earphone one first day. Feel good about it. Instead of first day, you could also pop up the fourth specialist. Yeah. Right, right, right. These are all good options. I'll play around with it. I love that. But this, but this was helpful. Perfect, perfect. I I'm, appreciate uh, it. You're uh, you are very welcome. I and I appreciate the support of on Patreon. That makes me feel great. That makes me feel very, very good. So with that, man, stick around to the call as I uh, as I ship this list over to you and uh, everybody at home for watching. Thanks for that. <laughs> we'll, we'll catch you next time. <laughs>